Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Wednesday, December 9th. Another fantastic day for our newsletter plays. Lots of nice winners over the last couple of days. But uh, before we get into that, let's take a look at the overall market. As you can see, we're looking at the Dow 15-minute chart here. And we're stuck in this bullish falling wedge on the 15-minute time frame. We had a nice little rally there into the close that ended right at that downtrend line. And if we're able to get a break above... 3 10 350 on the Dow tomorrow we could see a pretty nice up move here on the Dow um, if we look at the daily chart here on the daily chart you can see our actually let me scroll up a little bit RSI is bouncing off the 50 level and then the key thing here over the last couple of days actually over the last couple of weeks they've been unable to uh, break us down below this 20 day exponential support which has been pretty much support since the July lows and we were looking for this level to break and possibly a test of the 50 day moving average but the sellers even with the dollar bouncing have been unable to really break this 20 day exponential and over the last several months every time we've seen a positive day after a dip below the 20 day exponential we've seen a pretty decent sized move up on the Dow the following trading session so let's see if that uh, follows through tomorrow if we follow that same pattern we should have a very nice update on the Dow tomorrow uh, volume has been pretty good on this one uh, stochastics we'd like to see it get a little bit lower but uh, just going off that 20-day exponential trend that we've seen before things look very very good and like I said really surprising over the last couple of days um, on the weekend video, I said that uh, we were going to be looking for a big move on the dollar near term, and we've seen that over the last few days, and that the real test for the market would be how the market acts with the dollar up, because the trend for many, many weeks has been dollar up, market down, market up, or dollar down, market up, and uh, over the last couple of days, the market's been slightly down but holding its own, which is very, very positive. Dollar does look like it might retreat here in the near term. RSI is possibly rolling over. We had that big uh, red move on the dollar today, and then stochastics looking topped out. And this actual little sell-off we saw on the dollar today helped uh, spike the market into the close. So we could be seeing some more follow-through on that tomorrow. But anyway, let's jump into uh, stock plays. EFJI, monster winner for us uh, over the last couple of days. We tagged this one as a play down there under $1.10. Almost a 50% gain in, what, four days? Can't argue with that. Huge, huge volume. First and almost second targets hit on this move. As I mentioned in the alert, you should be either all out or at least out three quarters of your position on this one. And uh, just a fantastic play. We'd look to add this one back if it dipped back into the dollar twenties. Another huge winner for us uh, over the last couple of days is IFLG. Uh, this was a play we got in here down around the 16, 17 cent area. Hit as high as, uh, what, 28 27 and a half cents today on huge huge volume uh, just a great move like I said in the trading alert and in the chat room uh, this play reminds us a lot of uh, Sirius stock was tanked over the last couple of months on bankruptcy fee uh, fears and they were finally able to negotiate renegotiate or restructure their debt with their lender and uh, that removed that big overhang great play on the healthcare momentum we're seeing right now these guys did a hundred million dollars in revenue a year very small market cap and like I said in the chat room yesterday this is one of those stocks over the next several weeks that I could easily see being our next INTT or NELS or NLST that we tagged at 30 cents that have now gone on to be 300 and what NLST is what a thousand percent winner for us over the last three months so very nice setup on this one. We'd look to accumulate shares on dips under 20 cents here. RGCI, uh, new trading alert today. Uh, reason we jumped back into this one, other than the penny stocks being absolutely on fire, was its peers, SBSA and EMMS. EMMS, as high as up 40% over the last three or four days. SBSA had record volume. Uh, for the last five or six weeks hasn't seen a million shares in a long time and that one was up nicely on volume and RGCI RGCI has just been beaten down over the last month. We've got a nice bottom in place uh, Scroll down a little we had a positive MACD cross on the chart we've got stochastics coming up nicely through 20 and uh, This one could quickly see a move to the 50-day moving average. That's up around the 47 cent area 
with uh, stops probably 26 cents on this one but uh, unlikely we see this one dip now the bottom should be in here and we should see a very nice move in the near term um, like I've said in the alerts the penny stocks have been doing very very well uh, momentum is starting to move back into the cheaper value stocks as the large cap sort of stall out which is fantastic and it's usually what we see this time of year these are the kind of stocks that run big from now into January and a lot of these new plays especially over the next few days you're going to be familiar with them. They're the same stocks we've played back in June and then the same stocks we've played again in August and September. Uh, we're just playing them from slightly higher levels and looking for slightly higher gains on them. But uh, the chart here on RGCI looks very, very good for the near term. BNX, another one we're very familiar with. Uh, got this one actually spiked very, very big today. Uh, popped as high as 24 cents on a nice volume spot uh, spike and then eased off uh, got painted down here on the close but a great stock would be looking to accumulate this one as well 16 to 18 cents very very cheap play they're jamming all the stocks under 20 cent even bankrupt stocks that have no business even being listed have been running two three hundred percent so stocks that have a viable business plan like this one should really do well in the near term chart looks very very good rsi is looking for an excuse to break out and then we've got this downtrend from the August highs here in Stochastics, looking ready to go and a positive cross on ADX. And again, really, really like this setup here. BNVI uh, Biotechs, of course, small cap biotechs have been just on a tear over the last couple of days. These guys uh, down sharply with most stocks over the last two months. They did a financing there in October, to raised $17 million at 62 cents. So we're able to buy here 50% below what the funds bought at. Stark looks bottomed. Uh, supposedly, they have a meeting with the FDA in December uh, per their conference call, and they're talking with uh, companies on partnering on their uh, drugs. So, stochastics in the right area where we like to pick up, and we could be looking at a nice little pop on this one near term targets. Uh, 40 is a breakout, and then 45 cents and 50 cents would be targets here. And then, if you're looking for stops on this one, 33, 34 cents would be stops on this one. Um, SLTC uh, this is another nice play we've we've done it before but you know there's very few quality and let me emphasize quality penny caps left under 40 cents or actually even under 30 cents this company trades six million dollars under its cash balance uh, any sort of volume in this stock and we'll easily see a move up to our first target at 30 cents where the 50-day moving average is and pretty nice support here at the 20 to 22 cent area so as long as it hangs out here, we'll accumulate it because they will jam every single one of these if the market uh, continues doing what I expect it to do over the next month. Quick mention on WSTL, uh, had a very nice pop today. The only thing lacking on this one is volume. Dollar thirty should take this one uh, on a nice little move. Sort of similar play as to uh, EFJI that we just pulled off a 50% gain on. Cash rich, profitable, cash flow positive, need I say more. And also a stock that does very, very well, very, very well from December through January for the last three years. Last but not least, quick mention on TSTR. This is one coiled chart. Uh, it's been hugging its 200 day moving average. I would keep stops at $1.08 on this one. Breakout would be a close above $1.17. That's the 20 day exponential. And I believe the next time this one goes, it is going to go big, as in we'd be looking for a move to the 50 day moving average. That's at a buck 46. Uh, stock has just been treading water over the last week, and stochastics are now in the buy zone. As you can see, on balance volume has been starting to slowly tick up. So they're sneaking into this stock. And when they do this, they usually, you know, do it for about a week or two and then boom the stock goes straight up so hopefully the next couple of days we're going to see a very nice move in tstr but uh that's it for the video i know i'm missing a couple of plays we had a lot of new plays and expect a lot of more new plays especially with the market acting the way it is but for tomorrow um rgci looks really really coiled for a nice move and sltc uh our sleeper play and also ulu uh, this is one we got into a couple of days ago. They just announced today that they're at a conference over the next couple of days. And this one, especially if the penny stocks take off, could see a nice little spike here to the 18 to 20 cent area. So that's it for the video. See you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.